Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, I was gone for a minute, you know, a little stretch there, but I'm back. And this video is gonna be called The Co-Edit. You know, I feel very proud of that name, that's why I'm saying it like, The Co-Edit. But anyways, this video is just going to be about, you know, the staple coats that you should have in your wardrobe, you know? And like, my take on what those look like you know from my own wardrobe and I hope you guys you know see something that you like you know you know go look up there you know and pick something up for yourselves you know because I feel like the coat is what brings an outfit together and you know we all need one because this UK winter isn't playing with us okay it's not playing with my skin and none of that so yeah guys hope you enjoyed this video let's get into it so the first, you know, staple coat we're going to go through is the fur coat, you know. And I feel like, you know, over the last couple winters, I feel like the fur coat has, you know, started to come back. And I feel like it's coming back, especially I feel like this season and like the most ones that I've seen like people have on is, you know, the coloured, you know, fur coat. So you see the light blue, light blue one, which, you know, I still want for me, you know, but... I can't find it anywhere, let's not talk about that, but yes, you know, the coloured fur jackets, you know, obviously the classic, you know, the camel colour, the black, you know, just fur colours is popping again, you know, they just, you know, something that, are, first of all, one, they're just very warm, and two, they're just very chic and cute, like, you can't go wrong with those two for a coat, you can't go wrong with those two, those are just two basic characteristics a coat should have. And so for me, I feel like in coats as well, like with fur coats as well, it's just not that, you know, um, generic, you know, like soft, you know, feeling fur as well. You know, you have the shaggy fur coats as well, which I've been more into this season personally. But yeah, I'm just going to show you the ones I have. I'm just going to show you first what it looks like and then I'm going to show you what it looks like off. The first one I'm going to show you is from Hatronette. This... This, this coat right here, now I was never like a little leopard girl, that was never me, that was never my style, it was never my thing, but today, it is. And this coat actually from H&M was, I believe, £70 before, and I copped it for 20 like, can we get an amen? Can we get an amen? Uh, uh, okay. And this coat is so warm. I think that this coat is just so just lovely. Like, I just think it's lovely and cosy. So I'm just going to show you guys, you know, I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on. I just, you know, when I put it on, I just feel like, what's up? Like, real pimple shirts, you know? The next, you know, faux fur coat we're going to look at is this black one that I have from H&M. Oh my god, this shape, like, first and foremost, what caught my eye again? Let me not lie, what's the price, yeah? The price of the jacket was £25. Then, listen, like I told you, I'm a cheap and cheerful sister, okay? I have the H&M Club app, you know, so on that app, basically, they give you, like, a little, like, discount here and there sometimes, you know, like, sometimes it depends on how many points you accrue on the app or they just have the deals on there. But I had some deal that day, which took this coat down to under £20. Like, the jacket is bomb. Like, like it's just, it's bomb. It's bomb. The next staple coat that we're going to talk about, guys, is the bomber jacket. Did I say that properly? The bomber jacket. Well, I can't talk. The bomber jacket is always going to be, you know, a coat look, you know, a winter look like. Because it's just so easy to throw on, you know, when you're just having a run around it every day. When you just want to look, you know, street chic, you know. Everything. And, you know, over the years, you know, they've made the bomber, you know, look more like I would just say just like more stylish because you know I feel like back in the days the bombers were just you know a bit eh like they was cute but they just wasn't all of that I feel like the trend of better bombers happened when 
that red bomber jacket from um, Bershka came out, which I own, and I feel like the rest of, you know, England owns. Like, once that came out, boy, the bomber game stepped up, okay? It stepped up. But I have this bomber jacket here from Monkey. First of all, one, I got in the sale, it was £25. I just want to, like, start with that, like, Monkey sale was poor. Yeah, let me just say that now. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it's 25. This, first of all, one, a black jacket. I mean, can you go wrong? A black bomber jacket, how more right can you be? Like, I just love how long it is, how oversized it is. It's just, it's so warm, it's so cozy. Like, I mean, I'm a very like casual run around the day, you know, meal kind of girl. So this is just, you know, right Mali. Right, right up that street. So I love, love this jacket. The next let me even put it down first. The next staple coat that I'm about to get into is a classic. A classic. You know it. Of course I know it. We all know it. It's the aviator. Now, I never like owned an aviator jacket until I'd say what last year? Yeah, I believe last year because Zara came through with such an amazing dupe of the acne version of the aviator jacket that me can't afford. But that Zara it was £90. Now, at the time, let me just say this with all truthful honesty. I was a student, okay? £90 was hefty, but I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do when I got it. I got it. You know, this coat for me, like, I love you, girl. Like, I love you, girl. I love you. No, but seriously, this jacket is just like, I feel like it's just the perfect black jacket. It's perfect in all the right ways. I don't know what more to say about this jacket. Like, you're going to see it on. Like, it's just, it's, it's a Mars. Like, it's amazing. Like, it truly deserves a £90, like, price tag. It truly, honestly does. A new addition to my aviator collection because of course i have a black but of course i have it in nude too actually but this is a new one and this is also from monkey and also from the sale but i got it from asos like actually asos has their website and i've been wanting this jacket since i saw it yet on one of like my, my favorite bloggers that Janae. i was like i need this jacket but i saw that price tag of 80 pound at the time and i was like who's in that now I literally was like, you knew and you will, I don't have it. I don't have the cash, yeah? But, my God, my God, he knows my heart. He really, he truly does. Because this jacket went on sale for like 40, I think it was like either 45 or 47 pounds around that ballpark. And let me tell you, I, I can just show you better, better than I can tell you. Like <sighs> this, is, oh girl, I love it so much. I love it so much. Now I do have a little pet peeve. Like it has like little white flurry. So when I wear with certain clothes, like the white flurry stick to them. So I need to get like one of those rollers just to like deal with that annoying. But bar that, <sighs> oh my god, a jacket I truly love. I truly care about so beautiful so beautiful like look at it like look like really though like this is not cute come on I love this jacket love it so much it's actually quite warm as well like because sometimes when you look at this stuff like it looks like really flimsy flimsy but no this is really warm I just oh there you go. Now, last but not even least, like this jacket. Anytime I've worn this jacket, I've had a compliment. Like, 
it's just it is what it is this jacket is the bomb.com this jacket is honestly one of my favorite jackets i've ever purchased in my life and i purchased a lot of jackets like a lot like an extensive list this oh, first of all one year i've seen this coat online of course on all oh, my favorite bloggers like on instagram i've just seen them tag tag this coat like i was thinking wow like this coat is popping i never saw it in the store like you know and then it got to a point where i was thinking well maybe it's like sold out everywhere ever but my god i found it so i went to my local h&m and i just saw the coat there and i was just like oh I need you. But payday wasn't then. Payday was a week after. So I pray that this coat no one was going to buy the last large left. I didn't even say that was the large left, yeah? I was just like, please, no one buy it. No one look at it. Please be there. Payday came and it was there. And it was in its glorious beauty. And I bought that girl. I bought that bitch. And I was like, yes 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 winter is secure when i put the jacket yeah i was just like winter is secure but of course knowing me i have a jacket addiction so i knew more jackets were gonna get bought off this but however i just knew i'd secured winter off this one jacket so i've done all this talking it's time for you to see the jacket isn't it the teddy the maximara dupe the bomb that <laughs> i love this jacket like i literally don't even have oh well, i do have words because i just talked there about the jacket but it's just first of all one it's warm as hell like i don't even need i can wear a shirt under this and be calm like this jacket is just <sighs> amazing first of all one it looks like the max mara jacket that i could never afford at the moment so one i just was just like what well, hm i did themselves because let me tell you the price i got this year this was 60 pound Yes, you heard it right. 60 pound, 60 GBP, great British pound. The jacket is the bomb. Like I, I think that knows me anyway, I've been wearing this jacket bare. Like I rinse this jacket. If I got a jacket every day, I really would, but I need to show love to my other jacket so they don't get gel. But nah, this jacket, the teddy coat is definitely the coat of the season. It, it it's just, it's that, it, it's that girl, like, it's just no words like no words just okay i got excited with the last jacket but i just wanted to express my love for just that coat it was it's intense it's an intense love i have intense but yeah guys yeah that was just a short cute video on you know staple coats and you know what coats you know you should have in your wardrobe or you should maybe have in your wardrobe or just go to you know what to like subscribe and share about yeah that was not a great drop <laughs> but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course i'll be back you know with more content and i need to you know i did say you know it's gonna be music and television so i need to you know dabble into my tv so i believe i think the next video is gonna be something tv related so yeah subscribe for that so i'll see you guys soon bye